Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. Bahrain's parliamentary delegation, headed by Speaker Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mullah, met with the President of the National Legislative Authority of Thailand at the Parliament Building in the capital Bangkok on the sidelines of the delegation's official visit to Thailand. Al Mullah affirmed the need to create a parliamentary bilateral strategy to bolster cooperation in the light of the political and economic developments witnessed internationally. He asserted that the Representative Council's readiness to adopt policies in collaboration with the Asian countries that would support its economy and strengthen its position, particularly countries that support the Kingdom of Bahrain and continue to do so in the Kingdom's efforts of confronting foreign interventions. During the meeting, Al Mullah stated that terrorism is a threat to all societies and countries which requires more cooperation with countries to confront all terrorist groups that aim to ignite strife amongst nations and people which receives support and assistance from third parties. The President of the National Legislative Assembly of Thailand hailed the strong mutual ties between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Thai King Mahavajira Langkorn. He also commended the deep-rooted relations between the two countries through the exchange of official visits and the holding of joint trade and investment agreements. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Bahraini government headed by Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for his great contributions of strengthening relations in all fields in addition to providing the necessary facilities to the Thai community in Bahrain. At the end of the meeting, Al Mullah extended an invitation to the, to the President of the National Legislative Assembly to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain in the efforts of boosting partnerships between the two countries. He also extended this invitation to a group of businessmen and investors in the fields of education to visit Bahrain. In the presence of the Finance Minister and Chairman of the Bahraini Delegation, participating in the Joint Bahraini-Turkish Committee meeting in Ankara, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB, held a reception ceremony in honor of the Turkish Economic Delegation. The ceremony was attended by both countries' delegations, who are participating in the meetings of the Joint Bahraini-Turkish Committee as well as representatives of over 140 Turkish companies. EDB CEO Khalid Amr Romehi announced at the ceremony the establishment of an Office for the Economic Development Board in Turkey, which will strengthen the bilateral economic relations and increase investment cooperation between both countries. The office is part of the board's efforts to promote the business environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain and to attract investment in the Kingdom. On this occasion, the Finance Minister asserted the importance of establishing an EDB office based on the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to enhance ties with Turkish businesses and attract Turkish investment to Bahrain's economy. He noted the importance of the 6th Joint Bahraini-Turkish Committee meeting at the Turkish capital, which comes within the framework of exchanging visits between His Majesty the King and the Turkish President, and the keenness of both countries to support bilateral cooperation in economic and financial fields. Sheikh Ahmed stressed the need for a positive outcome that would enhance economic cooperation between both countries and reflect the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two leadership. He noted the important role of the institutions and the public and private sectors in Bahrain in hosting meetings with their Turkish counterparts to exchange experiences and ideas about the best means to create joint projects and investments in the near future. We have a branch in Bahrain for the last 16 years uh, almost. Uh, and for the last 16 years we are trying to improve uh, our branch facilities to, to give much to the Bahrain economy and Bahrain people. We know uh, Turkish businessmen are uh, very uh, like up-to-date and they have a great potential know-how and initiative and we want them to come to Bahrain wherever we need make a good business partnership. It's uh, not only business friendly, we want a friendly business partnership together with Turkish and Bahraini companies. And Bahrainis are, as uh, we all know, is ready to work with Turkish partners. Of course, uh, Bahrain is known as financial industry, but uh, we are promoting Bahrain other than the financial industry in uh, uh, like uh, eco information technologies, like hospitality, like um, uh, health cities in Bahrain and manufacturing in Bahrain 
and you know that there's a free trade agreement between Bahrain and USA. Hope one day whole GCC will have the presence uh, uh, free trade agreement between Turkey and Bahrain and GCC all together. Of course, uh, Bahrain can be used uh, as a hub uh, for uh, GCC uh, countries. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very good place uh, in the region to live there. Uh, I spent uh, many days, sometimes weeks uh, of months, uh, every month in Bahrain and the uh, food, uh, social life, uh, business life is uh, very good and uh, very easy to operate in Bahrain. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, Deputized Education Minister and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, to attend the opening ceremony of the UNESCO Regional Organization for Arab States meeting. The minister conveyed the greetings of the ceremony's pat patron and his wishes of success to this global meeting. He affirmed that Bahrain has succeeded in achieving credible achievements in providing education for all and developing the education and higher education sector. With the testimony of an organization such as the UNESCO, thanks to the continued support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. For his part, the Director of Division for Policies and Lifelong Learning Systems, David Acharina, expressed admiration in Bahrain's achievements in the field of education. Research findings indicate that investment in higher education may promote faster innovative and technological catch-up and improve a country's ability to maximize its economic output. Thus, Bahrain hosts the first of a series of UNESCO regional meetings in quality assurance and higher education in the Arab states. All of the Arab countries are actually represented here. They will be presenting the, uh, a case study or actually the view of their country on how to improve education. What are the things that is needed in our region? Higher education institutions are challenged to adjust their program structures, curricula, teaching and learning methods to adapt to new demands. In recognition of this challenge, greater attention is being focused on quality assurance as a critical factor to ensure educational relevance. Quality assurance is a very important element. It's also for UNESCO a very important element to promote mobility and recognition of qualifications uh, across countries. Uh, we are uh, in discussions with member states uh, in the Arab region to see how to promote mobility, and in particular within the framework of the Arab Convention on the recognition of uh, qualifications in higher education. A good understanding of the potentials for higher education and the adaptation of its quality assurance mechanisms to our regions accordingly through the implementation of the UNESCO's Education 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda is crucial. These kinds of meetings and fostering understanding allow us to understand how educational systems are alike and different and how people's education system in one world can translate into the work world someplace else. Various enhancements including external evaluation to promote recognition of diplomas and degrees from traditional learning to online, open and flexible learning including e-learning providers of micro-credentials, nano-degrees, badges and providers of episodic education were widely discussed by policy makers, educationalists, quality assurance professionals and other regulatory bodies and stakeholders to further explore the intricacies of quality assurance. The new era, the digital era, and so on, uh, this will be discussed by um, and attended by all these experts. I'm looking forward uh, to uh, listen to their comments and to respond, and maybe uh, I'm sure uh, the uh, debate will continue uh, after the workshop so we can benefit from uh, their, comment, their comments and their recommendations. We need to prepare our systems for the future and uh, to really cope with the 
sustainable development. Education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. A UNESCO regional meeting in collaboration with Education and Training Quality Authority is held today in Bahrain to discuss the role of robust internal and external quality assurance as an instrument for addressing the challenges faced by higher education so that it can play a full role in achieving its sustainable development goals. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. The YFF was matched with the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa deputized the wife of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa and Injaz Bahrain CEO Sheikh Hassla bint Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the honoring ceremony of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika Award for the encouragement of productive families. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Award for Arab Productive Families represents the Kingdom's tremendous support to the projects of productive families as they represent small and micro enterprises that contribute to the expansion of the labour market, increase social welfare and empower families and women. We are honoured. This means a lot coming from Her Royal Highness. At the same time, being a national and, and pan-Arab reward also gives a big boost and encouragement to my team to work harder. We are fortunate to have His Majesty the King as our honorary president and the dynamic hero and champion of the poor and the orphans, Sheikh Nasser, as our chairman of the board and with a fantastic team of 80 people. We continue to serve the people, especially the widows, and give them opportunity to have their own business and move from the level of poverty to the level of uh, micro uh, business. A total of 180 participants from Bahrain, in addition to 12 other contenders from the GCC and Arab countries, were nominated and awarded for the best product and the best sponsor of productive families. The Arab countries also took part in an exhibition showcasing their outstanding products. This very important initiative helped in, uh, in uh, poverty eradication, in finding uh, green jobs, in finding and helped all the, the, the community to be uh, all like each other, how, how we can be all together in the community, how we can help those families to, to do more productive works. Uh, also, we are looking for a new initiative, how those uh, small and medium uh, projects can be an input in the major in, and big industries. High-end ready-to-wear label, which provide uh, high-quality fashion designs, uh, clothes, uh, outfits, and uh, dresses. Uh, I start from one year and I wish I uh, participate in the future and uh, to more achievements and awards inshallah. The expo aims to motivate low-income families to enter into small enterprises, encourage talent as well as embrace skills and provide an opportunity for families to find new sources of income to improve their economic conditions. The exhibition will be open until the 4th of March and proves Bahrain's active role and commitment in empowering productive families. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.